What is up, everybody? It's your boy Prince. Here's here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K20 Universe Mode. We got some NXT for you guys today. I was gonna do this yesterday, but I got extremely tired. Extremely tired. I went to sleep. I was gonna go to sleep and then wake up and do my stream, but that didn't happen. I slept from 6 till 10 and 30. 6 p.m. to 10:30 a.m. Yeah, I was wanting, I was gonna get up around 10 p.m. and do my stream, but I just I didn't wake up. Um, and I'm currently tired right now, so I was going to just go take a nap, get up, and do my stream, but I didn't want to take that chance again and not. It, that didn't happen. So we're gonna go ahead and get the, ahead with the stream. We'll go through the and go through the matches like normal, and then do the stream. But tonight we have Kaylee Ray and Bianca Belair opening the show. So Sanavi Debuliter Debuliter. I don't know how to pronounce his name. We're gonna we're gonna try. We're we're gonna butcher it every week that he's on. Making his in-ring debut against Bolo Reynolds. Isaiah Swerve Scott will be facing Jordan Devlin. Io Shirai will be facing the NXT Women's Champion Candice LeRae. The NXT Champion The Wall will be facing Pete Dunn. Santos Escobar will be facing Trent Seven. And in our main event, we have the NXT Tag Team Champions Cody Silva and Murphy taking on Oni Lorcan and Danny Burt. So let's get started. I went to the store. Went to a uh, restaurant. And they filled up the so bad, like, I was laying off the sides and stuff. I had to, like, wrap a napkin around it just to be able to hold it. And XT. Welcome to NXT. I forget what they called that place. It wasn't it wasn't the performance center, was it? I think it was. It might have been. I don't know. Nonetheless. We have urban contest, Kayla Ray and Bianca Belair. I will be playing this match as Bianca Belair. Off for Bell match is underway. Oh, big DDT from Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray. Oh, I thought Kaylee Ray was going to get it. But unfortunately, Kaylee Ray got it. Bianca Belair looking for a wild form. Sweeping out the leg of Kaylee Ray, stomping at the ankle. Ooh, big punch in the midsection. Nice stomp to the knee. Oh, nope. It looked like Kaylee Ray was going to get whipped, but. Kayla Ray evaded that disaster. Oh! That time she got it. Big drop kick from Bianca Belair. Big splash. Dragon screw taken down. Bianca Belair. Slamming the head of Bianca Belair down to the mat. Oh, nice takedown. Oh, gets caught. Oof. Oof. 
for a clothesline again was unsuccessful. Down to the mat. Body slam right on the floor. Lot, there's not as much give as there is on the floor than there is in the ring. Kicking the skull. Before going for a soup, no, slamming her down. Broken a rib or something. Gayla Ray sending Bianca Belair back into the mat, back into the ring. Nice kick to the leg. Forearm. Forearm right to the throat. Up, oh, gets caught. Kayla Ray has her up. Big body slam again. Miscalculated where Bianca was. It says I countered it, but she just missed. <laughs> Kicking the head. Grabs the leg, takes her down. Kaylee Ray up in bad position. KOD. And Kaylee Ray is upset. It's okay. Can't win them all. But up next we have the Sanavi Debulator. 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 I'm trying to say his name. Say Navi, I feel like that's right. But Depulator. Second, if I can look up that name. Because I know it's a real last name. He's making his in ring debut tonight. Oh, it's supposed to be. Tour. So, Depulator. Is that? Is, I gotta fix that. <laughs> That's all me. But it's an instrument that removes body hair. His last name is. Oh, there's not supposed to be any entrances on. Get to the match. What the hell. This is Sanabi's in-ring debut. Taking on a pretty tough opponent in Bolo Reynolds. Bolo's no slouch. We'll see what Sanabi has in store for tonight. There's some pretty heavy blows to start this match, but the experience of Bolo Reynolds. Big drop kick, sending Bolo down to the floor. Bolo goes to a different side of the ring. What the hell is he just standing there for? Big suplex coming from Sanavi. Two. 
head, head slammed down into the mat. Big punches. Sanavi so throws some pretty heavy shots. I'll, I'll give him that. Oh. Referee halfway through the count. A kick to the skull. Bolo just walking around on the outside. So Navi goes to go back out to the outside. But both men back into the ring. Big neck breaker. Has him up. Drives him down right on his neck. My god. Bolo coming off the ropes. Big knee drop. Back to the top. Big cross body. I don't know what he was going for there. And laying in some stumps to Bolo. Bolo back up. Nice takedown. Big DDT. Big moonsault. Bolo never fails to impress me. Bunch of wrestlers on NXT never fail to impress me. Disc kiss, clothesline. 360, no scope. I think Sanabi even knows where he is. Big super kick from Reynolds. And that's it for Sanabi. But it's only Sanabi's first match, you know. Bolo takes the W here tonight. Up next, we have Isaiah Swerve Scott taking on Jordan Devlin. I will be playing this match as Isaiah. Swerve Scott's Rebel match is underway. Isaiah Swerve Scott driving the knee right into the face of Devlin. Another knee strike. Went for a double. Stomp to the midsection of Devlin. Big belly to back suplex. Nice bulldog. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but Isaiah Swerve Scott, I believe, got the better of it. Punch in the face from Devlin. Spanish fly. Devlin heading back up top. Big moonsault misses. Big DDT again. Big boot dropping. Devlin. Quick strikes from Isaiah. Big clothesline. I hit the wrong button. Big bag drop from Devlin. Almost got Isaiah Swerve Scott. After he was trying to look cocky, he, he paid off for him, I guess. For, for a moon stop, but was unsuccessful. Bounce off the ropes. What the hell are you doing? Goes up for a suplex. Counters. Gets out of it. Sweeping out that leg.
Oh, big kick. Drives him straight down to the mat. Nice kick out from Isaiah Swerve Scott. Another big drop kick, my God. Oof! You're broken the jaw. Nice knee strike. Sweeps out the leg. And Isaiah Swerve Scott, I, he, I was about to say he's feeling it, but what he's feeling right now is the mat misses the punch. Dort Devlin, I'm not sure exactly what happened just there. Big Urinagi, my God. Sting Isaiah Swerve right through the mat. Went for a moonsault, but was unsuccessful. Flies through, big kick to the head. Devlin could be slumped. And he kicks out, I am shocked. He falls down but gets caught and then gets dropped. He's able to able to easily kick out. Nice knee strike. Over the top rope, he hangs on. Punch to the face. Gets caught by Devlin. Looking for a suplex as Devlin has him up. Swerve lands on his feet. Billy to back. Suplex. Another kick right to the face. I don't think Devlin saw that one coming. Kick right to the spine. Stomping on the hand and a kick to the bicep. Big elbow right to the face. Went for a moonsault. Was caught on the ribs by Devlin. Big suplex from Devlin. Isaiah Swerve Scott could be in a very dangerous predicament here. He rolls through, trips out the leg. Big headbutt to Scott and then drop down. Has him up, drives him straight down to the mat. Jordan Devlin takes the W over Isaiah Swerve Scott here tonight. Up next, uh, we have Io Shirai taking on the NXT Women's Champion, Candice LeRae. Are we playing this match as Io Shirai?
There she is. That is your NXT Women's Champion. Come on, let's go! <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> Gosh, we're about match underway, and Io Shirai and Candice LeRae starting this match off. But can't and Io Shirai not slowing down for nothing. A oh, big kick to the spine. Oh, counters. Oh, Io Shirai. Being amazing, some acrobatics here tonight. Big kick, another kick to the head. Box up, you should you should now. Head first, kick to the midsection. Went for a big kick to the midsection, but was stopped by Candice LeRae. Rolls through again. Big moon salt, but did not pay off for a stomp of her own. Under Iosharaba was unsuccessful. Roll big suplex, drop kick <laughs> to the back of the head. Not where I wanted it to go. Nice her Corona into a cover. No way. Candice LeRae kicks out. I for a second there I thought Io was gonna take it. Candace looked lifeless. Nice, nice. Oh, big knee strike to the face. Again, we saw this earlier. Is it going to work out the same way? And it does. Face first goes Candice LeRae and locked up. What's the champion gonna do here? Champion only has a few options. Are you fucking shitting me? I hate how it like no matter how much you do it, it just depends on how much you've beaten them up. Like it's it that's that's they should fix that, honestly. Again, face first. Locking her up again. Maybe she was losing her grip last time. That's why she let her out. Just did it again. And that's enough for Candice LeRae. Io Shirai is able to take the W here tonight. I gotta add that to my notes. Oh. 
Uh, oh, okay, our, it, this is already in the notes. Candice LeRae can't <laughs> beat Chirai. We've proven that. We have three more matches. And I'll be playing one of them. Fuck, I can't stand Pete Dunne. I hope the wall beats the absolute dog shit out of him. But up next, we do have the wall taking on Pete Dunne. What's his name now? Butch? Is that what they're calling him on SmackDown? I need to call him released. It shouldn't be on, even though he is the NXT champion. I still got, I still got to work on that. Got to work on the entrances and stuff. If we come from Bell, matches underway. And Pete Dunne quickly fighting out of that. Create some separation. Off the top rope. Big knees. Just like he hit him with a knee right on his head. Over the top rope. Leg drop across the back of the neck. The wall headed up top. Big Phoenix Splash. Headed back up top. Positioned up top. And come down. Oh, Pete Dunn catches him. Makes him float for a second. And then gives him a big power bomb. Big super kick from the wall. Oh, my God. Wall being mighty impressive here tonight. Kick to the spine. A kick to the midsection. A Dexter Loomis. Saw that he won the NXT Championship last week. Be right behind the wall though. Be, be done. The bruiser weight slams the wall down. Got a road break. Big kick to the midsection. He done headed up top. Big moon stomp. Biting the fingers. Again, biting the fingers of the wall. Come on now. At some point. <laughs> Kick to the spine. A big stomps to the spine. Kick to the skull. Really working on the wall here. Wrenching on the fingers. They're driving the knees right to the spine. The wall is dazed. Be done. Heads up top. Big stomp to the midsection again. The wall went for that headbutt. You do not want to catch a headbutt from the wall. Gordon Light suplex. Followed up by another suplex. Well, brain buster? Maybe it was a brain buster. I don't know. Big headbutt from the wall. Something you do not want to happen to you. The wall heads up top. Big splash off the top rope. Just a two count. The wall, the wall thought it was three. And the WWE, sorry, the NXT Universe loving this match as he hits a moonsault on Pete Dunne right into another cover. Easily able to kick out his Pete Dunne. The wall heads up top. Big elbow drop to the back. 
puts him on the mat. Elbows, springs to the back. Locking up the wall. Wall, you better get out of this. You better get out of this right now. Stop playing around. Get out of this. The wall escapes as if there was any doubt. The wall actually invented the armbar. Driving him face first. Well, that was a triangle choke, armbar, I don't know. Either way, I know the wall invented that move. Oh, come on, kick out, kick out. What the fuck? I didn't, I didn't see it happen. I'm not. I can't add it to my notes. I didn't see that. I didn't see that end happen. Can the wall like beat the absolute dog shit out of him now. I didn't see Pete Dunn win that match. But up next we have Santos Escobar taking on Trent Seven. I will be playing this match as Escobar. And the entrances are on. Why you may ask? Because I did not turn them off. About to be going one on one with Trent Seven is Escobar. Oh, gets caught. Head first. It's out of the way. Step to the outside and then a clothesline sending him to the floor. Opening up shots. Big chop. Nice evade of disaster there. And a knee lift right to the face. Nice leg drop. Oh, elbow. Right to the knee. Driving him down. Prince Seven up top. And now gets caught. Shots after shots. Nice kicks after kicks. Elbows. Another elbow. Big leg drop. Nice clothesline setting him out to the floor. Nice, nice, nice. Sends him back into the ring. Driving him head first. Nice kick out. For a big kick. Trent Seven evaded disaster there. Escobar looking to seal the deal in this match. And a kick out at two. Pile driver. Kick. Nice, nice kick to the back of the knee. Tch. 
Locking him up. Pulls on the arm. Elbow. Into the midsection. Oof. Driving him down. Looking for the cover. And a nice kick out from Santos Escobar. I didn't think he was going to be able to kick out of it. Really didn't. Trent Seven up top. Oh, kick to the midsection. Has him up. Drives him down. Another kick to the spine. But for a leg drop, but Escobar had that sighted. Scouted. Scouted? Got it. Big chop. Ooh. Driving his neck into the mat. Santos getting back up. I don't think he... Oh, maybe... Maybe he did. I about to say, I don't think he knows what's awaiting him. But I think he was playing possum. As now he tries to get the victory over seven here tonight. Santos Escobar. Able, able to get the W. Seven seems a little upset, but whoa, 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 Escobar, Escobar, not just gonna take the victory. And into, into the steps. Seems like he wanted to send a message. He's not to be toyed with. Do not toy with Escobar. up next Cody Silva and Murphy take on Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan mm. of course for Bell matches underway as him up big Power bomb to start this match off. Dragon screw. Shots after shots unloading. Tags out. Here comes Murphy. Big kick to the midsection. Tags out, and here comes Oni Lorcan. I'm sorry, Danny Birch. I was reading the name at the bottom. Elbows getting rained into the midsection there. Danny Birch goes up. Dread. It's our snake eyes. And a sidewalk slam coming up. Oh, drives him across the knee. Oof. Laying in the stumps. To the hand. Murphy taking this beat down, making it slow. Why? We'd have to talk to Murphy about that. Just like dissecting his opponent. For another backbreaker, apparent maybe it is a backbreaker. Or another one. Disrespectfully just pushing him off of him. Yeah. 
Silva with a forearm. Wrenching the arm around the back. Driving the knees right into the spine. Ooh. Wrenching now. Knees right into the spine. Tagging out to Murphy. Big kick right to the head, face. And Murphy turns his attention to Burt Bayberry. Keep his eyes on the legal opponent. Nope. Counter. Beautiful counter from Murphy. As a big boot is connected to the face. Over the top rope. Down to the floor goes Murphy. Stomp to the arm. Shots after shots. Nice neck breaker. Head first down to the mat. Then an elbow drop. On six, Murphy takes a lap. It's back into the ring. And eats a couple of these punches from Oni Lorkin. Then gets slammed down to the mat. Lorkin headed up top. He sees Murphy crawling. You need to, like, attack him. Tags out to Silva. I don't know why Mur why Lorkin let, pretty much let that happen. Big body slam. Rolls him over. Into a cover. Ropes. Way too close. Moonsault. Hammering away at the face of Cody Silva. Tags out to Danny Birch. For a clothesline. Counters. Knee to the face. Wrenching on the throat. Over the top rope goes Murphy. Danny Birch targeting Cody in the ring. Elbow drop to the spine. Nice punch to the face from Silva. Knees. Right to the midsection. Buddy Murphy with a suplex. Plants him down. Spins right around like a record baby. Danny Burge now taking him over to his corner. Tags in Oni Lorkin. Big shoulder tackle. Stomping at the arm. For a drop kick was unsuccessful. Forearm right to the face. Now back into their corner. 
Double X handle to the wrist. Down to the floor. Head getting punched. Heavy punches. Silva's no slouch. I'll tell you guys that much. Prince Truth trained Silva. Took Silva a little bit to get it back, get into the company. He got to NXT. Wasn't really that great of a wrestler. Got moved to the main roster. Then uh, still wasn't that great. Yeah, went, went back to NXT. Started tagging with Murphy. Oh, what, what a move. And since then, Silva's been pretty top guy in the WWE. I mean, Silva would tell you himself that uh, back when he started wrestling, there was, he wasn't great. He was not a good wrestler at all. So we're getting up and locked up by Oni Lorkin. And Murphy in there to break it up. Took a long time. Danny, I'm oh sorry, Oni Lorkin has him up. Neck breaker. hell is he doing why would you tag out you have a beautiful opportunity right now to try to end the match I'm just now noticing a uh, only Lorcan looks like he was opened up right under his eye you have a beautiful opportunity right now to end the match and you're not taking it you gotta be the dumbest guy you've ever met in my life for tag matches here take the hell out of me Big kick right to the midsection. Tagging out. And Silva also going to tag out. Big boot from Murphy. He just tagged out. <laughs> Opening strikes on Danny Birch. This match, is, as of right now, is a one-on-one -on -one match. Be a great time for either one of these superstars. Try to put the exclamation point on this match. Big cutter into the cover. And a kick out at two. I don't know if I'm hearing them correctly, but I think they're saying this is wrestling. This is wrestling. Knee strike to the face. Looked like Danny Birch for a second looked over at Silva like, yeah, okay, he's back. Murphy noticed the two bringing him back in. Big spear from Silva. Looking to end this match. Breaks it up. Can y'all stay out of the fucking match? Like, honestly. If, you're, if your partner can't kick out, sucks to be them. That's why I get so irritated with these matches. Because they they can't end. They cannot end. Like you, they, They're so hard to end. Unless I'm playing the match. Driving the knees into the spine. Forearms. Oh, big clothesline. Tagging out. Here comes Murphy. Takes the midsection. Murphy's Law.
end the fucking match. Eight to the face. Silva. But not again. It's like one time a tag match lasted longer than the Royal Rumble did at a, one of the Royal Rumble pay-per-views. It's like, th that should not be a thing. That should not happen. Tony Lorcan coming back in. Silva now. Face first. Tags out to Murphy. Big shoulder tackles. Go for a punch, was unsuccessful. Oof. Neck breaker, Ramoni Lorcan. Locking him up. Submission hold. Attacking the spine. Big stomp to the arm. Neck breaker from Oni Lorkin. Tags out after he did that. Tags out. Instead of trying to get the cover. They're amazing. While Cody Silva is incapacitated, we're just going to sit here and just beat him up instead of trying to go for the cover. And, you know, we're going to wait till Silva's back, back to his feet and regains consciousness, has plenty of time to get back into the ring and break up the pin because, you know, we don't want to try to win the match. We'd rather just, you know, make this match last 40 fucking minutes. Tags out to Silva. Now Silva back into the ring. Transitions. Kick to the midsection. Unloading strikes. Silva, big knee strike to the face. Mix him up. Tags out to Murphy. Laying in stumps. Head first. Murphy coming off the ropes. He strikes right to the face. Tags out to Silva. Punch to the face. Has him up. Tagging him with the knee. Referee takes for one 20 years to get down to the mat. Okay, stop worrying about Birch. See, you just punched, just punched uh, Murphy because you were too busy worrying about Birch. Like I can't ha I can't not have tag team action, right? In some matches, I I don't play. Like I can't, you know, Silva's in the match. I'm not gonna play a match when Silva's in it. Locks him up, looking for a submission hold. Murphy comes in and breaks it up.
What are you? What the hell are you doing? Get in the ring. He's distracted. He is fucking distracted. You can do your fucking finishing move in the ring to Oni Lorcan and end the fucking match. But no, you want to sit out here and act like a, act like a fucking dumbass. Locks him up. Murphy comes in, breaks it up. Oh, did he not? Did he not get there that time? Silva taps out to them. Be a lot different if it, you know, they didn't break it up every, every, like every single time. Every single time that a ta that a pin or a submission happens, that's one thing. No, that that's no, that's what they do. But if they were to do it like every every now and again, like not every single time a pain happens, not every single time a submission happens, that would be different. But the fact that they do it every single time is what irritates the hell out of me. Makes it damn near impossible to end a tag match. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I do thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything and want to catch up on everything, head over to my YouTube channel at Prentice Truth, not there already. And if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button, turn on push notifications so you never miss an episode. The follow button will be coming like today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, I am out.